Hello and welcome to the new Power BI tutorial video and in this video I want to show you how you can do the commenting in your DAX code. So commenting is important to remember why you have created a particular code and within the code if you are using a specific type of logic uh, which needs some detailing because let's say other developers can understand or you can understand maybe after three months or six months if you are revisiting your code then comments becomes very useful because they explain your code right so in this video i want to show you how in two different ways you can do the commenting one is the single line commenting and another is the multi-line commenting also uh, another way uh, why comment can be useful i just recollect is that uh, if you want uh, to disable a part of your code so you don't want to remove it because let's say you are testing it or you want to keep it maybe for later use so you want to comment a specific section of your DAX code and uh, just keep, want to keep it over there and later you may want to use it so in those scenarios as well you can use the commenting okay so how we can do that I'll show you in a minute before that a quick information that uh, this live google sheet is present in the uh, description so what that mean is you can come over here search any of my previously created video and uh, search uh, by searching them and jump on to that using the link present in the column b and since it is a live google sheet you will be able to have all of my future videos as well as i will keep updating you will the sheet will be uh, you know continuously updating it for you so make sure you keep it as a bookmark and uh, that will be useful for you always. Okay, with that, let's go to the Power BI. And in the Power BI, if you remember our previous video, we have formatted this code. So in the previous video, formatting DAX code, I have shown you this code where we have created this earlier for finding the unique or multiple orders, right? So now what we will do is, let me just again click, I clicked outside. So what I will just do is I will show you first how you can add a single line comment. All right. So let's say we are using this table. So I'll press, uh, I'll give some space. So I'll press a couple of tabs, maybe here or wherever you want. I mean, that's just my choice, but you can even put it here. So you will press two hyphens or two minus sign and say orders table to get the logic on order id and category so it can be any code that you want right and when you click ok it will not give you any error because this this is more like a neutral thing which is present in the code and will not going to impact the code however it adds the context or it adds the information to your code so that way, for example, this particular logic, why you have added this logic, why you have added this logic is something you can do that. Also, <clears throat> if let's say you want to comment this part of a code, right? So what you can do is, uh, this is where multi-line comment comes into handy. So I press a tab just to give some space and I press this forward slash and star. Now, if you see everything after that has become comment. So I will just stop the comment here by pressing start forward slash again. So that way I have basically not removed this logic from my code or from my tags. This is still here in this tax code. However, the code is not activated right now because we have commented it, right? So this can be uh, useful in those multi lines let's say for example if you have like multiple end condition in this case you can just uh, use this forward slash star star forward slash to comment those multiple code lines over here that way we don't have to remove it we keep it over here and let's say tomorrow or maybe after few days validations and all these things you are fine and you want to include some part of the code and remove the rest of the part of the code you can do that right so all that flexibility is here so that is something i wanted to show you how you can do a single line and a multi-line commenting and uh, utilize in your text code with that thank you so much for watching and i'll meet you in the next video with a new topic